On January 24th, 2021, a Roblox developer by the name of The Burbs Word created a game called Merge. If you've been on Roblox quite a lot, you may know The Burbs Word as a verified builder from JTO, or a developer for Find the Ducks, a contributor to Untitled Door Game, and a few more games. The objective of this game is to, well, merge balls. That won't sound wrong for the rest of this video. Every two seconds, a ball will spawn from the sky. Merging two of the same balls will result in a bigger ball being obtained. To give this game something extra, the developer Burbs would give all 20 balls an official name including a description that describes each of them, such as the first ball which is named Paul. An overall well-rounded fellow, reliable and always there when you need him. He's a little jealous of his cousin Reggie, but keeps his rage about it bottled up inside until it eventually explodes in a supernova a thousand years from now. Yeah, I'm not gonna read every single ball index. When this game was originally released, you'd be in the same map and every ball would be the same studded material. Though both of these would change at some point, this game blew up pretty quickly, getting thousands of visits in the span of a couple days. Something I should probably mention is this game does include pay to win. You can buy 50 balls for 10 Robux, 250 balls for 40 Robux, and so on. Four days after the game released, the 20th and final ball was already obtained. Obviously most of it was pay to win, as you can see here, although the fact people managed to obtain ball 20 is pretty crazy. If you do the math, Paul, which is ball 1, has a 75% chance of spawning. However, there is a 25% chance that ball 2 would spawn. Now, if you obtain ball 10, there's actually a 16% chance for ball 3 to spawn, and then there's a 33% chance for ball 2 to spawn, and a 50% chance for ball 1 to spawn. And finally, if you obtain ball 15, there's a 10% chance that ball 4 would spawn, a 20% chance that ball 3 would spawn, a 30% chance for ball 2 to spawn, and finally a 40% chance that ball 1 would spawn. So the further you get throughout the game, the faster you'll make more progress. Now, let's talk about how people managing to obtain ball 20 is crazy. To obtain ball 20, you would have to merge ball 1 over half a million million times. Now, you don't actually have to merge ball 1 over half a million times, since ball 1 isn't the only ball that can spawn. On average, it would take you about 12 minutes 48 seconds to obtain ball 10, then it would take you another 4 hours 33 minutes to obtain ball 15, then finally, it would take you another 4 days 16 hours to obtain ball 20. Overall taking about 5 days to obtain ball 20 and finish the game. Now because pay to win is in this game, this can greatly decrease how long it would take to get ball 20. Nobody Nobody knows how many balls were bought in the server that got ball 20, but it was definitely a lot. However, the game was pretty much dead after Ball 20 was obtained. Though about a month later, more maps were added to the game instead of the same one map the entire time. The map would change every 5 minutes, and eventually more things were added like a 3 times speed game pass for 150 Robux and the ability to purchase 5,000 balls at once. That just... Wow. This game still had a few people playing from time to time, and a couple more maps would be added, but this game would pretty much be dead. Not until June 20th, 2021 came by, where Burbs added five more and final balls to the game, each ball having a special appearance to it, something that none of the other balls have. Something special that makes the final five balls stand out. Now, the special balls were obviously kept secret until they were obtained, which is understandable. Unfortunately, not even the 21st ball was obtained. Was it too hard to get that far? Did nobody want to try obtaining it? Was it because the game was dead? And yeah, everything I pretty much said sums it up. Though, on November 26, 2021, five months after the final five balls were added, many ads for the game were up and three new maps were added. The game was revived and getting a lot more visits after this. Could this resurgence actually make Ball 21 possible? Keep in mind, to obtain Ball 20 on its own would take about 5 days without pay to win. Nearly doubling for Ball 21 probably wouldn't be possible without pay to win. Many people were playing the game hours a day and staying in game overnight to keep the server going, so progress wasn't lost. Could this possibly be the day we obtain and see the first special ball that was added months ago? The server went on for around a day and a half until ball 21 was obtained. The first special appearance ball was finally seen. I wonder what its special appearance, what is this? So yeah, it's a cube. Well, according to his name and description, he's not, so I'll make sure to remember that. People wanted to go for Ball 22 since it actually seemed possible in the span of a day, up until the server unfortunately ended. No one knew what was in the server before it ended apart from Ball 21. By the way, I should probably mention this game had a Discord and the Discord was unfortunately deleted, so a lot of information regarding to this could have been answered if the server wasn't deleted. The game didn't die after this, however, Ball 21 wouldn't be obtained again for around a month. On December 28th, the server with only 2 hours of uptime had Ball 17, 2 Ball 18s, 3 Ball 19s, and 
one ball 20. That merged together is equivalent to just barely ball 22. How much Robux was even paid to win here? Because it is impossible to get ball 22 in the span of two hours. It, it has to be pay to win. If you were to spawn 5,000 balls, that would cost 650 Robux and would spawn balls 11, 13, and 14. Let's just round it up to ball 15. With that in mind, you would have to buy 5,000 balls over 128 times just to obtain ball 22 with pay to win. I, I promise this entire video isn't going to talk about pay to win. 650 Robux multiplied by 128 ball purchases would be 83,200 Robux. It's pretty surprising to see what people spend their money on these days. The server had ball 21, 20, 19, 18, 17 until the server just just froze. Was the server lagging that badly? I mean, I guess that makes sense. A lot of balls are spot- oh, you're kidding. Yep, the server's just gone. Thankfully though, Burbs respawned them in a private server. All that was needed was ball 16, and that shouldn't take much time to get, just a few hours. Eventually, people managed to actually obtain ball 22, the next ball to have a special appearance. His name is Recursive. After having so many balls fused into it, the mass of this ball collapsed in on itself, creating a sort of miniature duplicate of our universe. Perhaps it's not a great idea to add on to this, but that won't stop you, will it? Yeah, no, that's not stopping us. The ball would be somewhat transparent, and inside would be three miniature maps that were in the game. Unfortunately, about 12 hours later, the server ended nobody was in it. I think it's clear now that getting past ball 20 or 21 is basically impossible because of how much time it would take and Roblox servers can't really go on for such a long period of time. However, if you pay to win your entire life savings, maybe you'd have a chance to see balls 23, 24, and maybe even 25. And that's pretty much what someone did two days after ball 22 was obtained. Somebody spent over 130,000 Robux in a server. The entire map was flooded with balls. It was hard to move anywhere. Surprisingly, ball 23 3 was obtained here and everything added up in this map, Ball24 could have been obtained as well. However, the server crashed again. Thankfully, Burbs restored the balls in a public server and spawned Ball24, since everything added up in the previous server would be Ball24. Ball23's name is everything. Along with his description saying there's only so many combinations of balls that can exist. So this ball is the game's way of giving you everything you could need to make you want to stop. You should have stopped. And Ball24 was the creator himself, the burbs word, with the description saying, well, you're almost at the end, so here I am to congratulate you in a way. Maybe the real me would have joined the server at this point. He did. Congratulations, but maybe to truly win this game, you have to realize that quitting is the only way. Yeah, no, it's not ending there. One main problem with this game is it doesn't have the best anti-cheat. Someone could join an exploit flinging everything around the map, and there's a solid chance all of that progress would go to waste. Unfortunately, an exploiter did join the server with Ball24, but he couldn't fling it out of the map. It would just keep coming back, unlike all the other balls, which Ball20 and 17 unfortunately were lost. But Ball24 stayed for quite a while. The exploiter would end up leaving, then coming back a little while later a few times, but... At some point, Ball24 was gone. There was nothing left. All of that work for nothing. And Burbs didn't restore anything after that. That was it. Eventually, people who wanted to try to get Ball25 would stay in a private server for as long as they could to try to get Ball25. Now, this sounds ridiculous. It would take nearly five months just to reach the 25th and last ball in the game without pay to win. Was it even worth trying? Who would do this? Roblox would just end up shutting down the server after a week and Burbs wouldn't restore the private server at any point. It was basically impossible to get Ball25 now unless someone blew more Robux on the game, and nobody did. So were a few people actually going to try to get Ball25 for no reason? And yeah, that's kind of what the rest of this video is about. To get Ball25, you would need over 16 million Ball 1s just to finish the game. But since the average ball spawn is around 2.6, you would on average need about 6.5 million balls to spawn. Not to mention a ball spawns every 2 seconds, so this would take nearly 13 million seconds, or about 5 months. Even if you paid to win, you would need over 700,000 Robux just to get Ball25. And you need to hope the server doesn't just crash because of how many balls are spawning and merging at once. Now, surprisingly, the people in the private server were staying in for days managed to get Ball20 without any pay to win, taking about 560,000 seconds. However, that's six and a half days. Although earlier it was said that Ball20 only takes about five days to obtain, what made this take an extra day and a half? Well, it turns out the Ball15 and Ball20 badge for the game never worked. 
At least, after a while, it stopped working. People were aware of this, however, nobody realized that because the Ball 15 badge didn't work, the ball spawning never changed, meaning Ball 4 never actually spawned in the first place. Luckily, Burbs fixed both the Ball 15 and Ball 20 badges, so Ball 4 actually spawns now. The private server with Ball 20 ended up being restarted, so Ball 20 could be obtained much quicker. And four and a half days into the private server, Ball 20 was obtained. Though, less than 24 hours later, Roblox updated and shut down the private server because it was outdated. There's no bypass to this, Roblox will always close the server after it's been outdated for a while. The most optimizable way is to begin a new private server after Roblox updates. We know Roblox servers can last up to about a week before shutting down, since the private server that obtained Ball 20 for the first time was up for six and a half days. With this in mind, Ball 20 was obtained in a new private server in the span of three and a half days. Now, you may be thinking, three and a half days to obtain Ball 20, doesn't Ball 20 usually take another day? And yes, you may think pay to win was involved, but no Robux was spent from this point forward. A few minutes before Ball 20 was obtained again, there was only two Ball 14s, 15s, and 17s along with one Ball 19. This added up as Balls 19, 18, 16, and 15. We're missing Ball 17 and 15 here. How were they obtained minutes later to get Ball 20 without pay to win? Well, let me introduce you to the duplication glitch. To put this explanation simply, if you take two of the same balls, let's say it's ball 12. If you were to have a ball in the middle that's one ball smaller than what's in between, in this case, that would be ball 11. Merging ball 11 in between the two ball 12s will make the game think for a split second that the ball 12 we just made is trying to merge with the two other ball 12s in between, causing the two ball 12s in between to merge into two ball 13s. You've now obtained ball 14 with originally only having two ball 12s and two ball 11s, combined having only balls 13 and 12. Because of this, a uh, ball 12 was saved here, saving quite a bit of time. In this private server, balls 15 and 14 were duplicated to save a ball 15, which would have taken nearly an extra two hours if it wasn't duplicated. Now that there are two ball 16s and two ball 17s on the side, another duplication can be pulled off, and that's exactly what happened, saving a ball 17 from this, which would have taken over seven hours to obtain normally. Because of these duplication glitches, ball 19 was obtained, making ball 20 since there was already another ball 19 on the side. Overall, this duplication glitch saved over 9 hours and possibly longer. This wasn't the only duplication glitch to happen in this private server beforehand. However, they're not as notable as what happened here. The private server was shut down about 3 days later. This video shows there being 2 ball 20s and 3 ball 17s. It was assumed that a duplication glitch would be set up here, but somehow 2 ball 17s randomly merged like they got teleported. At the end of the day though, this private server added up got balls 21, 18, 17, and 15, and that was the the last time the private server got anywhere close to that kind of progress. Apparently the game had a backdoor in it resulting in the public servers just being destroyed along with many people being banned for no reason. It also got to a point where people had access to B-tools, allowing them to duplicate parts including balls which had public servers with Ball 21, then Ball 22, and so on in the span of a few hours. Ball 25 is even in here if you look closely. Eventually the game had to be shut down and privated for a few days at some point until the game was fixed. Everything was fine a while later. However, the private server was dead. Around this time, everyone lost motivation to try to go for Ball 25. It was considered impossible. Only having Balls 21, 18, and 17 obtained is only around 7% of the way to get Ball 25. Now, there are many ways to do the duplication glitch. The setup you saw earlier like this would work, or maybe a setup like this would work, or maybe even this setup. I should probably mention there's a chance the duplication glitch doesn't even work. You won't get it 100% of the time, but it's always worth a shot to try it. The private server had many big duplications, but nobody tried duplicating as many balls as they could, like balls 8 and 7. Apparently, if you are to duplicate every ball that spawns, you can get ball 25 in under a day. Obviously, that's basically impossible because trying to duplicate really small balls is not easy. The private server seemed to last up to about 7 or 8 days. So if someone and a couple other of their friends tried to duplicate as many balls as possible, maybe you'd have a chance to get ball 25. Or maybe just ball 24 or 23 or spend hundreds of thousands of robux. While editing this video, me and a couple friends tested to see how many balls we could duplicate and see how long ball 25 would take at that pace. That 
idea was thrown out the window after a bit. Eventually, one of us had an idea where four people would spawn 1,000 balls 10 times. The thing with buying balls in Merge is there's no rate limit and buying balls will stack on top of each other. So many people buying many balls at once will cause hundreds and hundreds of balls to spawn a second, possibly even duplicating in the process. Nearly 6,000 Robux was spent to see how many balls would spawn. Out of the 40,000 balls total that were purchased, balls 19 and 17 were obtained after the map was cleaned up a couple hours later. That being being 327,680 balls. Now, the 40,000 purchase balls weren't all ball ones, since the average ball spawn is 2.6, meaning 104,000 balls should have spawned. However, because of many balls being duplicated here, this tripled the profit of what we were originally going to get. This ended up being tested with more people, less people, more purchases, and so on. The reason 1,000 balls were bought so many times and not 5,000 balls was to avoid the server crashing. The server lasted six days before Roblox updated and just shut down the server. Balls 22, 18, and 17 were obtained before the server shut down, being the new record for the private server, making it around 13% of the way to ball 25. The most optimized way to profit from buying balls to duplicate, you would need two people to spawn 1,000 balls 10 times, costing 2,800 Robux and spawning over a quarter of a million balls, making that a 10 times profit. Although some balls would be frozen due to someone minimizing the game while touching balls, causing the balls to also be frozen and have a higher chance to be duplicated, you would still need over 170,000 Robux to obtain Ball 25. Although, that is a lot less Robux than what was said earlier, being over 800,000. Merge was renamed to Merge Classic due to Burbs recreating the game in late October of 2022. Private servers actually save in this version, however, there's nothing past Ball 20 in this version, meaning there's no Sphere Person, no Recursive, no Everything, no Burbs, and no Ball 25. Before the new Merge game was made, the Classic version was still alive, gaining about 2 million visits. Same with the new version having around the same amount of visits as Merge Classic. Though Merge Classic still had many active players, Ball 25 was still nowhere near being obtained. Duplicating is still possible in the new Merge game, but it's very hard due to how balls merge now. The new Merge game is also quite a lot different than Merge Classic. There's a lot more to it. And I won't get into the new Merge game since this whole video is just about how much time and effort was put into completely finishing a game about merging balls. God, this video was such a mess.